my methodology with this is simply to, to do the replication of the instrument without having any kind of inspiration from any form of texts because I wanted to remain absolutely true to the quality of the original uh, archaeological drawings. That was it. So I built the instrument and we made with Miriam Marsotto, who is currently doing a postdoctoral research with me at the museum, we started to make calculations with regard what would be the ideal a string uh, not length because the length is defined by the shape of the instrument so we knew that the strings average about 80 centimeters in length uh, and of course because of this structure the strings were about all about the same length because of the trapezoidal form of the instrument with variations between only 76 to 84 so an average of 80 uh, uh, or about 80. So we defined the, um, uh, the mass of the strings and the tension they would have had at the time. And the tension was, and the mass was uh, uh, made in relation to the materials that they would have used. So we know that a string in, uh, um, is Sa in Sumerian, that's the name for a string, which is Pitnu in Akkadian. And we know that Sa and Pitnu is also a term to this, to, to, which means gut or tendon. But with regard to a musical instrument, we think that the gut was more appropriate. We know that in, at the time in, in, in Sumer, in southern Iraq, they would have used indiscriminately guts of any kinds of animals, the bull, the cow, the deer, the fallow deers, lambs, rams, uh, uh, and pigs. Uh, because we remember that uh, Judaism doesn't exist yet and therefore pig is okay. And uh, why not cats, you know, chickens, whatever they would have used. They use it because guts, with all animals, including the human variety, have got extremely good qualities. It's a material which can be used to, as a sheath for a knife, which can, which can have so many, you can sew with it, so leather bits in it, you can make shoes with it. And of course, when you twist a gut, you simply use it as a string. And of course, if the string is not thick enough, you take two lengths of gut and you twist them together. Why not three, four and five, you know, as long as you obtain a proper result. So our calculations um, on this instrument, uh, the result of these calculations, uh, uh, meant that it was a pig's gut that was used and that the the uh, string at the treble would have consisted in only one gut twisted on itself and the first gut, the, the, the base, the, the upper base, the, the lower base string of it would have been four uh, guts twisted together and it, this was what the mathematics of it gave us. So this was interesting, so we, we a string is as at best when it is about uh, only 20% away from the breaking point. That is, you pull a string and it is just about to break, it is then that it sounds to its best. So having done this with the strings and having achieved a, a, a good result, that is that the, the sound was good, the, the tension of the string was good, the pressure on it was good, so therefore we had a playable set of strings consisted of pigs, guts, as I said, one, two, four lengths together, I decided to measure what they gave us in, in hertz. That is, hertz are simply units of, of frequency. And to my greatest amazement, the central note gave 294 hertz, which is D. And what do we have in the ancient text, a text called Nebit Nu 32, the, the uh, uh, text implies that indeed the, the, the instrument uh, uh, which is the, the strings of the instrument which are listed on this tablet indicate very clearly and without any dispute that the central note, string, note, five was indeed a D. So there the textual evidence confirm the validity of the replication of the instrument, the validity of the organology. So this is absolutely fantastic. It proved 
that what we had done by empiricism was confirmed indeed by the textual evidence. The D is uh, reached as a, a, a note. It could be a C sharp. It could be, no, it cannot be now because we know it was 294 hertz. And in, in our modern scale, uh, uh, 294 hertz is a D when the A is 440 hertz. Hertz. So there's absolutely no problem. It is a D full stop. But what I mean, the original Nebit Nu 32 text it, it lists strings in this way. It says it in both Sumerian and Akkadian. It's a bilingual text, but I will not bother you with this. I will simply say it in English. The first string is called first string. We have second string, third thin string, fourth string created by the god Ea. Ea was the god of wisdom, music, and balance. Uh, then we have the fifth string. Then we've got the fourth string of the behind, third string of the behind, second string of the behind, and behind string. For a long time many scholars couldn't see the significance of having a third thin string. For any musicologist it's quite obvious a third thin string, uh, being thin by its definition, uh, implies that it is the treble of the instrument. And also it implies that it is uh, uh, possibly a string which might be tuned in different ways because it, had, it has an adjective attached to it. And then we have the next string, the fourth string, which is, has been created by the god Ea. And this means that this fourth string would have been placed there in order to correct some imperfection in a system. This is implied in it. And when we uh, read the text carefully, we realize that the central note, the note of string five, has to be a D and that the two opposites are one-fifth apart and must be an A at the treble and must be an A at the bass. And then you tune up a fourth from the bass to, towards the treble and then a fourth down from the treble's note to down and so forth and you finally obtain a remarkable uh, pentatonic uh, structure. And then you complement it to obtain a diatonic any atonic structure, that is a structure with nine notes. And because of the symmetry, which was um, so important in Sumerian times, uh, the central note has to be a D in order to generate the symmetry, with the third note and the fourth note working uh, in relation to their opposite in the bass as the tritonic note being corrected by the fourth and this is where resides the interesting thing about this uh, a listing of notes.